Nepal has been very lucky that we have one of the highest mountain in the world, which is called Mount Everest, you know, Sagar Mata. And that is what the people want to turn off. Besides Everest, there is so many over 8,000 meter peak. Anupurna is a bit more open. The people used to come just for mountaineering. And later on, the trekking is boomed. The uh, scenic is there, but also you'll find it very interesting with the uh, people seeing in the different villages. I mean, if you go from one village to another village, it's totally different contrast, different landscape, different diversity, you know, plus the mountains. You can see the whole Annapurna range, which you never get sick of looking at. I'd done one trip with World Expeditions before over in Peru, so I had an idea of what, what it might be like. You can ask for much more to have the views of the mountains and turn up to a set-up camp and have good food and a cup of tea in the morning. The World Expedition policy is not to encourage to build too many tea houses rather than building a big wooden uh, house. They set up the permanent camp. It's a lovely way to be experiencing the smaller uh, villages of Nepal and you're also then close to the treks you've come down off. It's a, an interesting take on how to provide for a trekking experience, wilderness feel, without having too large footprint on the environment. World Expeditions was born out of the Himalayas. We were one of the first companies that were offering trekking holidays in Nepal when Nepal opened its doors to tourism in the 70s. It's fairly naive to assume that you'll have no impact when you're travelling through any country in whatever mode or style of travel, but the aim of minimal impact is to have as small as impact as possible. Us as a travel company try to also leave a positive impact wherever we can. We bring our own cook all the way from Kathmandu. And even in the ecology, if they cook by themselves, the, our cook will observe, make sure they're cooking hygienic food. I'm used to trail mix and the odd energy bar, and this is very different to that. It was really, really enjoyable actually. Plenty of food. It is nice sometimes to simplify life to putting one foot in front of the other. You can just bring everything back to just getting from A to B and feeding yourself and sleeping and getting up and doing it again. And it really, you don't have all the chaos of life surrounding you. The happy is the inner. Secret is you have to have an inner happy. Take a good, read up the bad. By sharing our knowledge, that's how we get happy.